this right here is our tornado probe, and the goal of this is to place this in the path of tornadoes and to capture high resolution video of the finer scale structure inside a tornado. We want to see the mini tornadoes that are inside the parent tornado, and the only way you can do that is if you're really close to it, and you also have high resolution video. So initially when we first built this this winter, uh, all we wanted was to have a very heavy, low profile probe. So what we did is we made this out of a solid block of cement. Contained inside this wooden case is solid cement reinforced with steel rebar. So we mixed cement in our kitchen and we arrived at this 300 pound block of cement. And to protect the camera, the camera is housed in this bulletproof bubble here. This is made out of Lexan. Here's Dave making the groove for the probe. I am routing a groove for the uh, lip of the Lexan dome, protective dome for the probe. It'll reduce the chance of wind lift, uh, uh, lifting up the, the Lexan dome cover uh, and potentially breaking it off. Uh, recessing it down into the wood uh, will protect it from uh, tornadic, tornadic winds that we hope to deploy this probe in. <laughs> Painted fluorescent so we can locate it. Now I have the Lexan bubble attached with hinges and latches. This thing will not move. Almost indestructible. 300 pound probe completed. Later on we added a wind monitor. And what this does is it measures the wind gust as the tornado passes over the probe. This wind vane here has a maximum wind measurement of 220 miles per hour, and that's perfect to measure the wind speed inside a tornado. And to record the wind speed, we have a data logger. That's what this device is right here. So all these cords that feed into this device, this records the wind speed at one second intervals. And this right here is the power supply. This provides the electricity to the probe. Back up! Back up, Joel! Full speed! Full speed! Car 2, back up! Back up! 